This month in Rockland, we have 23 more homes available for sale than last month. Does that mean that the market's softening? We'll find out in this video right now. Hello, Brandon Leone here, your Rockland Realtor. I am here with the Rockland, California Homes for Sale market update through May 2022. I want to talk a little bit about the Rockland market as a whole. Now, as of right now, there are 57 homes active. There are 86 pending and 82 that have sold. Now, with 23 more homes than last month, does that mean that we are in this softening market? Well, not exactly, and you're about to find out why. In Rockland, we finally hit that $350 per square foot mark. That's the highest it's been or highest I've ever seen in the past few years. So that'll show us as the market keeps increasing, as the price per square foot increases, uh, we're not gonna really be in a declining market. Another indication of how strong our Rockland market is, is how many houses are selling above list price, right? So if we have a house listed for 600,000 and it sells for 600,000, that would be considered 100%. We have been seeing houses selling for the past few months at 104%, so 4% over the list price. This last month it was 3% over the list price, but as long as houses are selling for more than what they're listed for, we're still in a hot market. So right now in Rockland, we are breaking our three month streak of 15 days on market. So days on market are when a house goes active to when it goes pending, how long that takes. We've been 15 days for the last three months. This last month we were 11, which also is showing you that uh, the competition is still there in Rockland. Now let's talk about the average sales price, which is super important. For the last five months, we've actually had an increase in sales price in Rockland. So that the average amount that a house sells for, it keeps raising every single month. Last month it was 776,000, now it is 803,000. So that's a $27,000 increase in one month. To me, that doesn't sound like a market that's off. Lastly, we look at the months of inventory. That's how long, if we didn't list any other houses, would it take for us to run out of houses? Well, it's been 0.5 fluctuating from like 0.3 to 0.5 for the year. It's now at 0.7, which is the highest it's been. But anytime you are under one month of inventory in any market, it is an extreme seller's market. It's no secret that the Sacramento area is in high demand for homes. Most people only look at homes that are on the market, right? Which means they're missing out on great opportunities. Now it's really tough to find a home that's not already on the market. And if you do, you're spending hours online looking at listings. And by the time you find a home that you like, it's already been snatched up by someone else. And if it's still available, there are probably 10 or more other families interested in buying it, which forces you to pay more than you want for a home. Now, whether it's a new home or a resale home you're looking for, take advantage of our off-market inventory list. Our off-market inventory list will give you instant access to fully upgraded new homes that aren't available to the public. You'll also get access to five to 10 homes each week that are about to go on the market so you can avoid competition and get your offer accepted. Click the link in bio so you can get instant access. If you have anything to add or have any questions, feel free to comment on this video. Don't forget to like and share it with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna find out what's going on in the Sacramento area or region, check out our Sacramento market update. Link will be below. Hey guys, thank you so much for visiting my channel. My name is Brandon Leone. Good luck in your home search.